Perfect. Hello, welcome one and all to another episode of Toys Equals Midlife Crisis Squared. And today we are dealing with Super Ultra Street Fighter 2 Chun-Li. Good point. So, uh, it was such an adventure to attempt to get this. I know that it's like everywhere in uh, Target land, but... When I ordered this, or pre-ordered this from Big Pad Toy Store, and by the time they shipped it, it bounced, like, to every major city in the state before finally being delivered. I was like, you know what, I could have just gone to Target and bought this, but, you know. Anyway, it's a very interesting uh, box. Uh, I love the, uh, the arcade cabinet look, and uh, whoever this is is losing pretty bad. Um, you get some vague action. And you get some, look at that, you get a selection screen. But you know, um, the one that I'm hoping for is uh, Cammy. Yeah, I would love to have Cammy. Now, I did pre order Ken, and Rue is coming, and I also pre ordered uh, Fei Long. So we'll see how this all shapes up. To be fair, this is my very first one of these, so um, I don't know how it's going to work out. But see, look, there, there, you get the lovely Cammy, you get the Evil Rue, you get the Fei Long. And yeah, if Evil Rue comes out, yeah, I'm getting Evil Rue. I mean, who the hell wouldn't? So, you know, I've always wanted a, uh, a Chun-Li. And um, back before I started doing uh, regular six-inch figures or what have you, I was doing uh, like the Micro Men. And they actually came out with a Chun-Li that was all articulated, but, you know, teeny tiny. We're talking three and a quarter inch. And we'll see that here in this review, but let's get her out of the box. Spinning bird kick! Cooking! <laughs> all right, so let me explain something. Uh, I did get her out of the box, and let me tell you what. Uh, just for those who've never bought this particular brand or at least this particular product, open from the bottom. Do not open from the top. If you open from the top, you will not be able to pull this whole thing out because of the angle uh, of the packaging. So if you open it from the bottom, it'll all come out a lot easier. Learn from my mistakes. Uh, so I ended up having to destroy the box. Oh, well. So out of the box she came. And uh, I have to admit, this is really cool. This is like a representation of her uh in-game background from street fighter 2 very nice it's a very nice uh, so uh, let's have a close look at ms lee here we go switching to manual and give me some uh, focus there bro and then aziz light okay having a look see i I'm really kind of digging the sculpt on this. Um, it's just so much of a better version of Chun-Li than I kind of expected. Uh, but then again, to be honest, I don't know what to expect. And this being my only 6-inch Chun-Li, I know there's probably much better, more expensive options. But for the price, oh my god, you cannot beat this with a stick, yo. Um, just really good. Really awesome. Uh, just about every detail you can imagine. The face sculpt's not bad uh, for what it is. I mean, it's kind of a, it's kind of a, a Bengus, I would say. This is kind of a Bengus look to, to a certain degree. It's kind of like they took Bengus and tried to make it more realistic. And for you Purvos, yeah, you can... Uh, she got stuff underneath. This is a very floppy um, style of dress, and it fits. And these are um, loose, the uh, these uh, whatever they are, the wrist things. So I'm going to have a look at the articulation on this because it is uh, double jointed elbows, double jointed pinless. But uh, if you could look, you can already tell there's some really bad flash going on inside that joint. So I'm kind of worried <laughs> we're going to see some like Hasbro level bullschlaka. But uh, T posing, no problem. Rotatey, it rotates all the way 360. Um, wow, uh, double joints, pretty pretty good. Now she comes with these uh, all out of the box, these fists which uh, hinge uh, in and out. Um, 
she can rotate at the waist. Wow, boy, she can crunch back and she can double over and throw up. Uh, just to, yeah, because she's got two ball joints, I think. Uh, one at the, does not rotate all the way around at the chest, but rotates at the waist. Whoa, Jesus, she can split without a single issue. And is not really a drop down either. Uh, kicking forward, eh, yeah, you know, not bad, I guess. She's not going to be kicking straight up in the air. Um, kicking back, though, that's that's pretty good for kicking back. Back kicks, man. That's what it's all about. Now, uh, she does have the, the thigh twisty. That works out really well. And look, she got the double jointed knee. That works. I'll see if there's a boot cut. Yes, there is a boot cut. And she got the forward, backward, and it is a rocker. Sweet. Pretty much every piece of uh, articulation she's got. Um, I think, yeah, the neck joint is on something. And then, of course, there's a lot of, a lot of whatever, loose head. Bit of a loose head. So you can make her look up. You can make her look down, but she's a bit wobbly. But it's fine. It's totes my goats fine. I like it. Great. Me likey. So, let's look at the... Uh, uh, accessories. What accessories do I come with? I don't know. But we're going to find out. And now back for more fun with Duck Wing Duck. So what do you get? You get a severed head that screams at you like a banshee. <laughs> Help me. Uh, so that's cool. I like that. You also get um, choppy hands. So no grippy hands. So if you uh, had any ideas of having her hold a weapon, forget it. No weapon for her. Nope, not going to happen. She also gets these, um, well, it's supposed to be her lightning kick in succession. Uh, sure, I I'm not going to display her with it. But it's also a very rubbery plastic. Very interesting. But not too bad. Um, you also get something in the way of a stand. Now, um, from what I can tell... Obviously, it's going to plug in at the base. Yeah, okay. So the non-ratcheted in or non-whatever it in goes there. And then you have this. So that would plug in. Ooh, where? Not at what, her butt? Where, where, she, where does it plug in? Am I missing something here? Because there's no port in the back. Uh, and there's no claw. The foot? Is it plugging into her foot? I guess. Let's see. Nope. Does not plug into the foot. So unless I am missing something, I don't think it goes up her crack. That would be something. Oh look, there's a peg <laughs> that keeps the the outfit in place. That's that's interesting. Um, all right. Let's see. Maybe it's just for this. Yep, that's what it is. It's only for the, 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 this effect. Well, it doesn't even do well in that respect, but I guess you have to force it in. You could heat it up, and it's got a mushroom uh, joint in there, and you just plop that in, but eh, I don't want to use it. That's lame. To me, that is lame. But for, you know, $25, you do get quite a bit, in my opinion. So... Um, yeah, uh, so far, me likey a lot. Uh, I'm really happy with it. Let's, uh, let's do some comparisons, because that'll be interesting. All right, well, first up, let's compare it to the Microman Chun-Li that I got, like, decades ago, <laughs> or over a decade ago. This is it. It's a little tiny thing. Um, just give me a sec. Okay. She has something like 30-something points of articulation. Uh, things are peggy and loose and weird and wonky, but it is uh, Chun-Li nonetheless. Um, so you were able to do uh, about all the poses you could ever want with this particular Chun-Li, but... Um, you know, it's so teeny tiny. I mean, maybe it'll attack your G.I. Joes. <laughs> but, you know, obviously, standing up to uh, 
three and a quarter. Um, this Chun Li towers over her face. Um, so I'm gonna go. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's. I do kind of wish she had these open uh, hands because um, the pose I kind of had her in. There's a uh, an image of her doing something similar. Uh, it's it's this. Um, this thing you do in Japanese martial arts where you look at the sun and, you know, come out. But, um, but anyway, yeah, just give me a second. All right, just to show you real quick, this book of mine got water damage, but I was like, fuck it, I'm going to keep it. I'm not going to throw it away. Um, that's the picture I was more or less having her in right there. But uh, yeah, so we're going to move on to some other comparisons. All right, well, here we have her with Mafex Psylocke and Neka's Renee from TMNT. And overall, it scales pretty well, in my opinion, for both, including the size of the heads, different, uh, the kind of muscle structure. I mean, obviously, Chun Li is a, a thick, tasty figure, uh, but, you know, and in that regard, she can kind of, you know, whoop up on some Psylocke. Psylocke's Kind of got some skinniness going on, but you know, she's fairly chunky. Um, but yeah, I think it scales pretty well between these particular brands. So if you have these particular six inch figures, she will probably, uh, I don't have any of the actual Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles from NECA, but I imagine they would scale up pretty well. The Mighty Morphin Power Rangers will return in a moment. All right, and here we have her with G.I. Joe Classified Zorana and Marvel Legends Dazzler. And interestingly, she's a little bit shorter, but still scales well, you know. Um, I don't know really in terms of scale how tall Chun-Li is supposed to be, but I this is not so far out of the range that you're like, hey, you know what, no. But yeah, I think you could have Chun-Li interact with on a realistic scale with uh, classified and or uh, Marvel Legends. She kind of bridges that gap between somewhat realistic and somewhat cartoony or comic booky. I like it, I dig it. And now back to visionaries. All right, here we have her with um, Snail Shell's Bulba, Bulba Milk Tea Girl and Dark Advent's um, Isis, my little model kit. So I'm trying to see how it uh, pairs with more anime style figures because you may or may not have them next to each other on the shelf. And again, success. I, I think she pairs up relatively well in terms of her look, build, feel, height. Uh, I think it matches up. How about you? What do you say? Uh, am I overstating it? I mean, sure, the Isis figure is a little bigger because I think she scales to, I think, one-seventh. Or not one-seventh. Uh, she's seven-inch scale or closer to seven-inch scale. What is that? That one-tenth? Is that one-tenth scale? So uh, she scales a little higher, but it's not, you know, I don't want to, it doesn't, it's not so egregiously out of whack, you know? I like it. So I think, uh, yeah, I think at this point we've we've compared to about as many things as I think we're going to compare to. Uh, so I'm going to move on to El Fetus. Minotameyo. Gomen, eh? 